What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustMertech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about the test instruction, so let's get started. Now what is the test instruction? Well the test instruction is basically the, exactly the same as the AND instruction, the only difference is the test instruction does not affect the destination operand. And I'll explain to you exactly what I'm talking about. The test instruction is really only used to test whether or not bits are one or not one and I'll and I'll show you right now let's start off by uh, moving around some values let's move into AH because AH is a 8-bit register and I'm going to use a 8-bit binary value let's move into AH a 8-bit binary value of 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 all right let's make sure this is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right since it's a binary value we have to type in B at the end so the computer knows it's a binary value now again, we moved into AH, this binary value here, which is a value of 1. So now let's use the test instruction. We have to start off by typing in test. Test is the instruction. And uh, hit space. Now we're going to type in our destination operand, which is AH. Use a comma. Now, we know that AH has this binary value here right now because we moved this into AH, right? So now we got to give it another binary value to test against, right? So let's let's give it the same value. So let's just type in 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, B, right? And it's going to test against AH, so it's the same value. So it's going to basically AND both uh, operands, right? And uh, we know when you AND an uh, operand, two bits have to be both 1 for the result to be a 1, otherwise everything else is 0, right? So 1 and 1 will be a 1, the rest will be a 0. If 1 was 1 and 1 was 0, it would still be a 0. So again, once, once we uh, hit emulate, the destination operand is not affected. It's only used for testing purposes. And the way that uh, the test works, it's a, it, uh, it'll change the, the flags, mainly the zero flag, right? So if the zero flag is one, that means the results are all one. And that means the bit you're testing does not have a pair of matching bits, basically. No bits are matching at all. So... If the if the zero flag is uh, zero, that means there, there there are matching bits. So let's test it out right now. Let's hit emulate. Right now it's highlighting our move into AH this binary value. Let's hit single step. Now our AH register has a value of one, right? So now it's highlighting this test uh, instruction here, right? Let's hit next step. Now our AH value still has a value of 1, because remember, I told you it does not affect the destination operand at all. It's only used for testing purposes. Now again, the, the, the way we uh, test is by uh, observing the flags, and let me open the flags here. Right now, our 0 flag is set to 0. The, the reason it's set to 0 is because we have a pair of matching 1s, right? And uh, the result then will be a one. So we, so then we know that uh, the there are a pair of matching ones because we had a result of one. Otherwise, the result will be a zero, and that's why the zero flag is set to zero, right? So now let's change this. Let's close this here, right? Let's make this a zero instead. So the result will be all zero. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit single step, and open up our flags. Let's hit single step again. And uh, as you can see, our zero flag is set to one because the result is zero and there were no pairs of matching ones. But that's pretty much it. The only reason to ever use the test instruction is to test whether or not uh, bits in a specific operand are have ones or, or not. That's the only reason. Otherwise, you'll never use it. But that, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustin